Want to make parallel call to the server in Angular? You will get to know that but after the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, all the frameworks and all about the algorithms. So please, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can make parallel call to a server. And the scenario should be like, when you call to a server, suppose you make a two calls to a server and your first call, it doesn't depend on the second or the or a second, it doesn't depend on the first, then you can make those call parallelly, right? Suppose in a, in a common scenario, like if you call a server, get the data, like get the login details or authorization details and according to authorization, you, you will call to another server. In that case, you, you can do it parallelly because you need the data from first response and by taking that response, you need to call to another server or to the same server to another uh, URL to face the data. But here, the case would be like you, you both the calls are not de dependent on, on, on each other so that you can make it parallelly. So that's uh, the today use case. I think the video is going to be small. So I will try my best to make it smaller. And as you can see here, this is from the previous video. It tells about how you can retry to the server and how you can retry with the interval and uh, with some delay and all. If you haven't watched it, this go ahead and watch that. That will be very interesting. I will link it there. You can watch that one as well. To make parallel call, we are going to use the fork join, and that is again from RxJS. So uh, the fork join, as the name says, the fork, right? While you're eating in noodles, use the fork that has a multiple hour, like multiple input, and that is combined and make a handle that you can. Uh, grab and eat so like the same here you can provide a multiple observable which can be combined and can send parallelly to the server and which, which can be as a sub subscribe and get that get according to the index so I have written some um, some example so this, this is the same uh, call I just added a parameter in the backend like if you go here so i just created a another get request and i have I am accepting the number and i'm sending that number again uh, these are the uh, i'm storing this these are they are the observable so if you don't know about uh, observable you can go ahead and watch that one as well i will link it there and you can be clear about that in folk join either you can give an array like I created an array here, uh, array of these uh, observables, so observable of HTTP services, or you can go ahead and directly give like this. So this will be same. So it's the same. I prefer to give an array. So I use that one here. So here, add to any other observable, you will subscribe that one, then you get the data and according to, according to that uh, you can do like uh, you can do all the operation with the observable like pipe map error catching error lot of things that you can see all this all the things in the observable videos and i will link one more here you can go ahead and watch and um, so to sub so you will go with a simple case so we'll try to subscribe this one so to access the value so what it will do is when you get subscribe as I as you already know observables are the lazy loaded okay as I explained in that video as well when you start subscribe to this observable then it then it will uh, start executing the value so in in this case it will start calling to the server when you start subscribing to the observable. So, so uh, now you may wonder that in the previous example, like here, 
we are calling to a single server like you are calling to, we, are, we are calling is you are getting a single response and so you are getting the whole data here right so so suppose the, a server is returning like here in that call i am returning a object which contain three parameter so you got those parameter and you can assign to a variable and you can you directly use that in your html or what wherever you want you want to send somewhere that all depends on you so you may wonder how you gonna deal with this because we have a four calls here which will return four different data so how are you gonna use that the key process to remember here is as you are providing array here we also get the data in an array for the video sake I will log some value here like if you go ahead and log some value so I will do this so you, you can guess how to access the array will access the same so it, it can go ahead and access zeroth index then I will try to print the whole JSON so it will be and this null and two is to prettify the JSON so that it will be easier to see in the log instead of seeing as a string. So if you go to the browser, we'll see that according to the we are getting the number according to the request we made to the uh, server like two one first is two second one is. 123 43 321 and we are printing according to the index so 0 1 2 3 4 and in the server we are returning the same index what we are getting same parameter like url parameter what we are getting from the client okay so and we are printing on a sequence manner so 0 1 2 3 4 and i take this example because it will be clear that the the order you are giving it here and the order you, are, you, you will respond the data will be remain same okay so here if you if i'll zoom you can see that the first one is 2 123 43 and 321 which is same as this one 2 123 43 and 321 okay that's it for today guys today you learned how to make parallel call to a server and how to face the data from the server parallelly and how to access those data and use it in in your application so if you like the video please like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't it and share the video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye